Safari has gained some powerful new features in High Sierra. First, we can prevent cross-site tracking here in the privacy pane of Safari Preferences. With this activated, Safari will do its best to stop the same or similar ads from following you around the web. Oftentimes, if you do a web search for a certain product, especially on Google, you might find that when you then visit other websites that have nothing to do with that product, you start seeing ads for it. This feature will prevent that. It's not going to prevent a different ad from appearing, though. That job goes to Ad Blockers. I have Adblock Plus installed, and it's blocking 15 ads here on CNN.com. You can install Adblock Plus and other extensions from the Extensions pane of Safari Preferences. In High Sierra, we have a new menu item under the Safari menu, and that's Settings for this website. From this panel, we can set specific options on a site-by-site -site basis. We can enable or disable the installed content blocker from here. We also can choose to use Reader when available. This is a good option for news sites, since most now support Reader, which gets rid of all the unneeded items on the page and focuses just on the article content. If I turn this on and then click on a story, it's going to load into Reader View. Click the Reader button up here, and I could return to the regular web page for this article. I really like this feature. The only downside you might find is the lack of links available on the Reader page. We need to go back to the main page to get the full web interface. We can also set a page zoom level for individual sites. Some may have text that is tough to read, so up the zoom level, and now each time this site loads, the text is going to be displayed at 125%. If a site has video content, I can decide if I want the video to always autoplay when available, stop the autoplay from occurring if it has sound, or stop all video from autoplaying. In this case, you'd need to then click on a play button to view the video. Other sites may ask for permission to use your Mac's camera, microphone, and location. We can set all of these to always ask, always deny, or always allow for each website. So this is a really nice new feature in Safari. For websites that you visit often, you can have them appear and operate just how you like without needing to make the adjustments every time you load the page.